Daniel, you require 96. Yes, he's four. I'll break a throw at the earliest opportunity. And he's found the trouble 20, double 18. Double nine for a 15 dart break. Game shot Beautiful. the first leg. Daniel really closer. Is. And let's look at the fact that now Greg Ritchie's got to win four straight legs, otherwise he's going to go the same way as Rob first. Collins. Mm. Daniel, you required massaging the whole Mensa Sulevich double 14 love. Well, I have been amazed by that, but I've seen more of it from, because I, as you know, I'm a big, massive fan of the Euro Tours, and you get to Game see players from so many different line. regions, and they, Daniel you're right, Rosa. they do have. Uh, uh, Daniel, you require 40. And tops it is for the double break. And three zip. You can't see him missing. No reason to think you'll miss. He's 50% on the doubles. Just creating a bit more of an angle from the right hand side Game there. The and he gets leg. it perfectly. Daniel you just sense that maybe that second dart was a little bit too close for the way his darts go on the board. Is my pick to win the whole thing. I think Graham Hall. As someone who is very much like Daniel. There you go. A little bit of spirit from Greg Ritchie leaving us. Daniel, you require 20. Not been his night in any sort of facet of the game. Daniel, to finish Group One in style, finishes it in style. An interesting one. And he doesn't quite mimic what he did in the previous two games against Greg Ritchie. In fact, he falls one dart short with a 91.09 average, but he has had Greg Ritchie on toast all week long. There you see it, 44% on the doubles, the high out of 96, a very Daniel Closer performance, and he will play in the first semi-final against the loser of the next match. We will have Peter Jakes and Robert Thornton in our sixth game of the night. The winner will win group two, the runner-up will stay on the board for semi-final Number one.